Boyers, the crash is coming. Now here's the thing. If you know the game, you can't be played. My name is Coach JV. I am the top health and mindset coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. I've been speaking that into existence for years now. And I believe in my heart that I'm the top health and mindset coach in the world. And that's all that matters. Because Warriors, all that matters is what you believe in your heart. What you think on a daily basis. And when you connect the heart and mind together, you cannot be stopped. Because when the heart and mind are in one accord, you are unstoppable. Now, I'm just sharing this information that I've been studying for the last nine years. Now, the good news about me is I'm not an analytical person. Now, that well, how, why is he sharing about finances and interest rates and all that stuff? I'm not an analytical person. I'm a common sense, street smart person. And when you have common sense, sometimes the numbers don't add up. And what I'm about to share with you today is in my belief system, we have a massive crash coming. And if you know the game of what's happening, you can't be played. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to great, break down the Great Depression. I'm going to break down where we're at right now and where I think we're personally headed based on the IMF and the World Good Economic Forum. But before you do anything, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. If you're in the Warrior Academy, make sure you watch this all the way through. It's imperative that you understand economics at a common sense level. We're dealing with human behavior. Take out the numbers. Take out the charts. We're dealing with human behavior. And humans get greedy, and we're experiencing it right now. There's two things happening. We have too much greed going on, and we're shifting to the new technical era. So two things are happening, and it works out perfectly for the people who are playing the game. But if you know the game, you can't be played. All right, guys, so click the notification button. This probably is one of the most important videos I'm going to do right here. So I'm going to do a lot of reading. So hopefully you're somebody who can uh, keep your attention span like in the 1980s, about 30 minutes, because this is very, very important. Now I'm going to attach these documents within the YouTube video. So you can print these out or go to the website yourself. Okay. So first we need to understand what caused the Great Depression. In my opinion, we are going into something worse than the Great Depression. Our GDP is worse than the Great Depression right now. We are in a credit crisis. We are in a low interest rate environment. We are printing money like it's monopoly money, helicopter money, nonstop. And guess what? Right after the election, we're going to get more stimulus checks. I know you get excited about getting your stimulus check in your new digital dollar account that's coming very, very soon. But that's not good, Warriors. You getting just a check in the, just in the mail or in your digital, it's not good. With low interest rates and money pumping into the economy and being locked down with no GDP growth, products or goods or services being produced, this is common sense. If there's no more GDP growth and you're not producing more products, goods, and services, you're just hanging on for the ride, getting these stimulus checks as a business, you're not growing the economy. So what I'm going to do is at the end, I'm going to tie it all together and what I think is going to happen and how you can protect yourself. Because if you know the game, you can't be played warriors. That's why nobody can mess with me because I understand the game. And that's how I do my investments. That's how I'm building generational wealth is by understanding the game. I'm not listening to the narrative. I'm doing what they do, not what they say. So there's going to be some reading here. So hopefully you'll bear with me on this. This is a very important video. And if you go to our YouTube channel or in the Warrior Academy, go to the economic section and we break this all down. So let's talk about what caused the Great Depression. Now I'm going to jump around just a little bit. So if you want to just relax, if you have headphones on, just close your eyes. I'm going to be reading along. So I'll be looking down at the screen. Okay. So how bad was the Great Depression? The dimensions of the economic... Uh, catastrophe in America and the reset of the world cannot be captured fully by quantitative data alone. But there's some figures that may help put this economic nightmare into perspective. Use the word nightmare. Think about what's about to happen in our economy. Now this is happening globally now, globally across the globe due to the C word, the pandemic. From 1929 to 1933, production at the nation's factories, mines and utilities fell by more than half. Okay, think about what's happening right now. Restaurants, okay? Think of restaurants, right? Uh, there's uh, dairy farms that are shutting down. There's meat production companies that are shutting down. Uh, nightclubs, bars, all these people that have their whole lives relying on tips are getting shut down. People's real disposable income dropped by 28%. Do you know how catastrophic that is? Stock prices collapse to one-tenth of their pre-cash height. The number of unemployed Americans rose from 1.6 million in 1929 to 12.8 million in 1930. 
three. In my opinion, what we're about to go through is going to last for a decade. At, at the height of the depression, one in every four workers were out of a job. Think about right now. How many service workers are out of job? Hotels, restaurants, bars, um, some production stuff, right? There's things getting shut down in regards to I, dairy farms are getting shut down, okay? There's four phases of the Great Depression. The government, easy money. What's happening right now? Make it rain. Stimulus checks, easy money. Policies cause the artificial economic boom and substantial crash. What's happening right now? Your stock market was up yesterday. <laughs> Think about that. Why was the stock market up? The feds pump money into the economy every Tuesday. Why was your stock market up? The feds pump money into the economy every Tuesday. President uh, Herbert Hoover um, in, in the interventions policies after the crash suppressed the self-adjusting aspect of the market, thus preventing recovery and prolonged recession. After Hoover left office, Franklin D. Roosevelt, the New Deal expanded Hoover's interventionism into nearly every aspect of American economy, thus de deepening the depression and extending it for even longer. So now we have a huge problem right now. So we're not only going into a depression, in my opinion, the stock market's going to crash, in my opinion. We have, we have low interest rate environment. We have helicopter money flowing out with no GDP growth, right? And we're moving from industrial to a technical age. So there's something dramatic that has to happen. The Great Reset. The IMF, World Economic Forum, keeps talking about the Great Reset. Labor laws such as the Wage Act struck and a final blow the remaining health, healthier sector of the economy, dragging at least the remaining uh, bulwarks of productivity to their knees, okay? Now let's talk about this real quick. So easy money, what does that mean? And think about what we're going through. So this is in the 19 in the Great Depression. Now, when I say this stuff, think about what's happening right now. The first phase of the Great Depression was the massive boom during the roaring 20s. It was booming. The economy was doing fantastic, which inevitably burst in 1929, the Black Tuesday, if you remember that, the stock market crash. In order to understand this crash, we first must understand the boom and how it happened. For various reasons, the government in the 1920s created monetary policies, listen to this, that ballooned the quantity of money and credit in the economy. What's happening right now? Low interest rate environment, Money's being pumped into the economy at a rapid rate, more than we've ever seen in the last six months. A great boom resulted, okay, followed soon there by a painful day of reckoning. None of Americans' depressions, uh, depressions prior to 1929, however, lasted more than four years, and most of them went over, were over in two. The Great Depression lasted for a dozen of years because of the government's compounding and its monetary errors with a series of harmful interventions. What's going on right now? But how exactly did the government inflate the economy? Okay, so I'm not going to go into that in the market cycles, but I want to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to attach this so you can read. I just want to give you an overarching view of where we're heading. Okay, so the artificial boom of the roaring 20s. Now that you can see how manipulation of, okay, so what they're saying is manipulation of interest rates, right? When you are in a low interest rate environment, what they're working to do is working to get you to go buy goods and services, working you to stimulate the economy. So when you get a loan, that creates jobs. When we have um, people getting credit or going to buy houses, right, buying uh, real estate, commercial properties, when you do that, credit creates jobs. Credit creates jobs, okay? Even if it's a low interest rate environment, the problem is though, if when you're in a low interest rate environment like we are now and you're pumping money into the economy with no GDP growth, you have a pandemic going on, you have a very, very dangerous position. So if you raise um, the uh, interest rates, you have to you have to raise everything, right? So I just wanna give, make that very, very clear, okay? Okay, so now that you can see the manipulation of interest rates and money supply can affect the economy, we're seeing it right now. We can take a look at the boom-bust business cycle leading up to the Great Depression. The spectacular crash of 1929 followed by five years of significant credit expansion by the Federal Reserve System under the Coolidge administration. In 1924, after the sharp decline in business, the Reserve Bank suddenly, suddenly created $500 million in new credit. Boom! Suddenly. What's happening right now, guys? which led to bank credit expansion of over $4 billion in less than one year. What's happening this year, guys, right now? What's happening? SBA loans, printing stimulus money like crazy, PPP loans, just putting it out there, loans, money, money, money. Well, the immediate effect of this new powerful expansion of the nation's money and credit were seemingly beneficial. We saw benefit. 
initiated a new economic boom and affected a 1924 decline, the ultimate outcome was the most disastrous. It was at the beginning of the monetary policy that led to the stock market crash in 1929 and followed the depression. So I'm, I'll let you read a little bit deeper around the Great Depression. Now, let's fast forward to 2020 where we're at. So this is coming from me understanding the banking perspective. I used to be in banking and having a common sense perspective. We're now in 1920, 2020, 100 years later from the roaring 20s, okay? We are in a low interest rate environment. In 2008, we had a big economic decline in America, the housing bubble. They didn't fix it. They didn't fix it. We had historical low interest rates, which pushes people into the economy to go buy houses, to buy properties, to buy real estate, which gets people to start businesses, right? So they're stimulating the economy through credit. Credit creates jobs. Please go watch my economic video. Get, uh, credit creates jobs. And so you're artificially stimulating the economy while you're pumping money from stimulus. So if you have available credit, you can keep pumping money into the economy, right? Okay. So now where we're at right now is we have the pandemic going on, the C word. We're locked down in our houses. Hotels industry is going to get crushed. The, the restaurant industry is going to get crushed. Um, some, of the, some of the manufacturing industry is going to get crushed, right? We're in travel bans. Uh, there's, there's an election going on right now. The stock market was up yesterday. It makes no sense. The stock market's up when everything... So think about that. Why was the stock market up? The feds are pumping the stock market, okay? So now here we are, the International Monetary Fund. This is from the International Monetary Fund, okay? So this was on June 2020. It says the long, the long economic hangover of pandemics. So this is the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. Okay, you have access to all this stuff. It says the COVID-19 pandemic toll on the economy act, uh, act, activity in the recent months is only the beginning of the story. Okay, we're fast forwarding 100 years. Well, the rapid and unprecedented collapse of production, trade, and employment, sound familiar, may be reversed as the pandemic eases. Mm -mm. Historical data, data suggests the long-term economic consequences per, could persist for generations or more. Among these are prolonged periods of depressed real estate rates, okay, uh, real interest rates, excuse me, let me not speak out of school, real interest rates, what I talked about, low interest rate environment, akin to secular uh, stagnation that may uh, linger for two decades or more. The good thing is if you're an investor, that's going to be great. You're going to have low interest rates. Still, one piece of the good news is that these sustained periods of low borrowing cost are associated with higher real wages. Let me explain that in just a moment and create ample room for governments to finance stimulus measures to counteract economic damage caused by the pandemic. But let's rewind. What happened? They said that the presidents in the Great Depression kept trying to, trying to help, help intervention, right? That intervention just crumbled the economy. But we have two things happening right now. Government intervention to try to keep the economy going through stimulus. We're moving to a new quantum financial system, a new technical age. And so this is the greatest time to reset your whole economy, to bring you into a new quantum financial system. And most of you are asleep to this because you don't understand that this happens over and over and over again. There's cycles. Okay. So I'll let you read that, but I want to show you something really quickly. This is pretty cool. So this is, uh, we had the, I want to break down the flus. We had the Spanish flu from 1918 to 1920. Remember the roaring 20s were in 1920, right? So they started to stimulate the economy. Okay. Then you go into the H1N1 pandemic was in 2009 to 2010. And now we have the C word, right? We have the C word, the pandemic happening right now. So here's the interesting thing. So wars versus pandemics. So wars seem to stimulate the economy, right? Because it creates, think about that. Wars stimulate economies. Pandemics depress economies. Change needs to happen. We need change. We need change. So I'm not saying anything. I'm just giving you facts, right? So this is what happens in a pandemic economy, okay? So I want to show you guys something else. Let's jump over to the World Economic Forum. So hopefully you're still hanging on because those who have ears to hear, I don't care if there's two people listening, as long as two people get this information. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm a common sense type of person, okay? So this is a World Economic Outlook update on June 20th. These came out on the same time with the IMF, okay? IMF came out with theirs, and this is the World Economic Forum, inter excuse me, International Monetary Fund, both the IMF. And this is really, really interesting. So this is a World Economic Outlook, Okay, so I want to show you guys this. Once you see these key points, there's key points you need to pay attention. You really need to pay attention when you're watching these videos because there's key factors that they throw in there. Okay? 
Okay, so IMF forecasts a further downgrade worldwide growth, global economic growth, global economic growth. We are going to the new quantum financial system globally, guys. Negative 4.9% over the globe. This has never happened before worldwide. To the lowest level since the Great Depression. Are you hearing this stuff on the news? Nope. For the first time, every region is in a recession. Every region. Time for a reset. So with a sharp decline now, you're about to go into a massive decline, a sharp decline, followed by a gradual recovery. So do you want to be on the downside of the decline or do you want to be on the other side of the decline? Because I'll tell you what, the 1% are not going to be on the downside of the decline. They're going to be capturing the profits coming from the upside of the decline. Think about that. We're moving to the new quantum financial system. I'll keep saying that. Okay, so this is important. The downturn may feel increasing inequality. The rich are going to get richer and the poor are going to get poorer. That's why we call ourselves the uncommon 1%. If you know the game, you can't be played. Okay, look at this. I've been saying this, guys. It's, it's, it's all, they're showing us. As women and low-wage workers and informal workers are hit the hardest by unemployment, people making 30, 34000 and below are going to get rocked in the next 12 months. So what would you do if you knew that? What would you do if you had the answers to the game? What would you do if you had the cheat code of the contra, up, right, left, right, A, B, A, B? What would you do? You would use it. As countries design policies to energize the recovery, investing in green energy, quantum financial system, where would you invest? I'm not a financial advisor, not financial advice. Would you be gas and oil or would you move where the billionaires are moving to? Okay. So there can reduce carbon emissions and boost climate resilience while creating new jobs. What was the thing they kept talking about in the debates? Listen, listen to what they keep talking about that keeps coming up. The green initiative, the green initiative. They kept hammering on one of the presidents about the, the drilling, right? We're heading this way, guys. We're heading this way. It's going to replace a lot of jobs with technology. <laughs> So I'm just here to inform you guys, like I said, don't believe a word I say, do your own research. What I'm sharing with you guys is this stuff is all available to every single one of us. But you have to know from a common sense level, you can look at all the analytical charts you want, you can watch all these news stations you want, you can listen to all these analysts, but humans are humans. Greed is greed. The game is the game. And when you know the game, you can't be played warriors. That's what the uncommon 1% do. This isn't about cars. This isn't about houses. This is about free dome, freeing the dome, understanding the power is right here. You have all the answers, the ability to think, the ability to research, the ability to make your own decisions. That's what we do at our private warrior academy is we create an ecosystem that helps you understand mind, body, immunity, and we share our own generational wealth building plan. We're not financial advisors. This is none of its financial advice. We just share the common sense things that we're doing to help get ready for the new quantum financial system and build generational wealth. So understand warriors, I'm gonna start preparing my warriors for 2030, because 2031, we're gonna go through the same exact thing. 
My name is Coach JV. I am the top health and mindset coach in the world. And if you made it this far, you are a true warrior. Make sure you click below, join our private Facebook group, and you're going to see us live every single day. And you're going to have the opportunity to join our private academy very soon.